Hello, Shemina, and welcome back to I Enigma. I Enigma are going to be doing your general reading for 16 December to 31. I will see the current energies around you. How does this person feel for you? What is going to happen next? Upcoming events, health and curry guidance in a nutshell. Please know that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate, so take what resonates and what does not resonate. For accurate personal readings, white prayer spells and premium charge crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. Check out my Instagram for all the updates and um crystal reels free horoscopes at iNigma.in. the details are given down below in the description box gemini sun moon rising or venus signs cross watches see the messages oh someone that is still stuck on you not ready to leave you and you're like please leave me alone so there is someone there that does not have the courage to ask you again but this person is not able to move away from you so they're stuck very badly on you and they cannot think of anybody else but you maybe they're codependent on you but this person also doesn't see themselves as fit for you obviously because they hurt you that is why you left this this person the situation but this someone that is wanting to get another shot they're stuck on you they could be a pisces since the day you left this person's life they're not able to pay attention on themselves they're just lost completely lost okay wow this person doesn't want to socialize they're feeling left out they're feeling extreme anxiety sadness and depression without you gemina who is this person i feel like they just don't want to leave you okay what is going on with you gemini let me see you might be dealing with a Virgo or a pisces wow they can see you moving away from them they can see you getting more opportunities in life you're definitely rising you have a lot of opportunities in love work career you're busy you're living your life and you're making your life more uh worth living precious you you know you got it all it's that's the feeling you're having right now write down gemini in the comment section i got it all i have it all i don't need anyone that's the energy that you're in right now okay all your wishes are coming true slowly you're moving towards expansion slowly you're moving towards a higher status at your workplace i'm seeing your work is heavily appreciated and everybody wants to partnership with you or work with you and there's a lot of growth that is coming in in the near future at your work all right you do miss them but your happiness is more important okay your self-respect is more important you know you have to let them go because if you don't let them go you will suffer in sadness pain and you'll go through the same thing over and over again and you won't be able to find your own happiness. So you kept yourself above this person because they didn't deserve you. Let's see what happened in the past between you guys. They could be a Sagittarius. You do have feelings somewhere. They could have been a Scorpio. I feel like they challenged you that you can't leave me or they always you know, took advantage of your love. They thought that no matter how much uh, they you know mess with you they do things behind your back you will never be able to leave them but a point happened a time happened where you had to drop this you have to drop this person you had to let them go and that was your final decision okay and there were a lot of fights between the two of you because they were not ready to give you what you were expecting of uh, them you wanted love you wanted a relationship you wanted a connection that lasts but they just were too busy doing them. And for the sake of your happiness, you just decided to stop because somewhere I feel you both are not on the same page when it comes to the understanding, uh, concern, maturity. A lot of other things also mattered. So not just love, you wanted respect as well. So since you got more uh, opportunities for you to be, you know, you, you could see that you can have more happiness, more opportunities and more growth without this person than with this person so you decide to leave the situation because they were just holding on to grudges they were being negative they were being mean and not ready to accept their mistakes so i'm also seeing this person also were too possessive that they thought that you were cheating on them or they uh, blamed you for unnecessary reasons because there was some sense of insecurity how does this person feel now they could be leo they could be Libra. Now they're trying to manipulate you to come back. They're not understanding their mistake. They're not trying to 
you know, uh, come towards you with genuine energy. Okay, this is my mistake. I accept it. I won't make it again. No, instead, they're trying to get you back by using tactics. Okay, and those tactics you don't like. You just want this person to be honest. And that's where the things go wrong. Even though they have feelings of love for you, but they won't say it on your face. They just want to have an upper hand somewhere. They are codependent on you. They're insecure of you because they think that you're doing better. And if they are doing better off than you, somewhere I feel like they are worried about their reputation, the power they have, uh, the control they have over their life. They might lose all of that, you know, to pamper you, to convince you. They are ready to pamper you, but they can't let you know that you have won over them and they are helpless without you. This person doesn't want to let you know that they're helpless without you. That's why they're using tricks and you don't like that. So what do you feel about this person? Let me see. See, one thing is for sure that this is someone that wants your love. They're in love with you. This person definitely loves you for sure. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But they have difficulty expressing okay they are not very articulate with words when it comes to showing their vulnerability and with you you definitely have a motherly or fatherly care towards this person you want to nurture them you want to change them you want to take care of them but if you are not respected and given that space or uh, love that you seek you are ready to leave because you have uh, love for yourself you have self-love and you're not going to take any kind of misbehavior that is what you're showing this person that okay if you don't respect me i'm leaving it's okay i can still work i can still manage write down in the comment section i love myself before this person because you've kept your self-respect intact since you've laid a solid foundation you have a your own charm you don't want to lose that right so this is why even though you have feelings, you want to get married to them or you wanted to get married to them, you decided to choose a path that brings you more peace, happiness, self-love and growth. So you decided to choose you over this person. Okay, you're more, more mature. I'm also seeing this person is less mature or childish or they could be younger than you. Cancer energy for some of you. you may have cancer in your chart somewhere, Gemini. Then this is your reading. Let's see what is going to happen next between you guys. The lovers. You're definitely looking for new options in your life. You are talking to some new people. There is on and off and you're not sure whether you have met the one or not. But you're liking the attention. You're liking that there are options that are wanting to be with you. You want to get to know because you're more of a practical person. You want things to happen in time so that you can you know, grow, you can evolve, you don't want to stay stuck in your love situation for years and years or even months, you don't have time to waste, you have other important things to do, so you're like, quickly, I have to jump from one situation to another, like my marriage is done, and then now I have to focus on my career, and I have to focus on building my family, and then a house, and you know, all of these things, you're pretty organized, and you want to go ahead with proper plan, so this person is just wasting your time. This is what you think. So you're ready to date next. You're seeing like, let's see who's coming next. So what else is going to happen is I'm seeing you finally, okay, reject. I'm also seeing you rejecting other new offers as well. So you're very confused because there are options coming in, but you haven't found someone that meets your standards because you are, you're a genius. You have high standards for yourself and not everybody can fit in your list because you have unique list you have unique criteria you stand out okay you have qualities you are a person that is more brilliant okay so that is why if you're a brilliant person you will have a brilliant choice it's not easy to find someone that is brilliant as well so somewhere i feel like you're just confused there's no one that is making you feel like this is it so you're like okay what now because i want to move ahead i want to grow i want to you know, uh, have a smooth journey, but people are just making it so tedious for me yeah, because they're not fit for you or you're setting your standards too high. Either ways, you have the power to manifest exactly the kind of a person you want if you have belief, faith, and trust in yourself. 
you know pretty much about manifestation you know the tricks and you're using them to manifest your soulmate it might take some time i'm seeing around feb 2024 but it's going to happen right now seven of swords you have trust issues with these options if you secretly do watch this person that is sad and depressed over you but you don't want to deal with them I'm seeing you're also not able to trust these new options because somewhere you don't see themselves being honest. That you see themselves as being more of a liar. So seven of swords is like you're a little freaked out, okay, with these options. You want to stay away from these options. So it's like a big no for them, uh, for you towards them. So the reason is these new options are definitely into your money or expect that they're going to depend on you for money. They want to like put you in this game of business, use your money and then leave you suddenly and put you in that situation. You have someone like that around you that is coming. So be very careful, Gemini. Someone that you're going to date is more interested in uh, taking money from you instead of, um, you know, love. So maybe that's that's a Capricorn. Maybe that's a Libra Gemini Aquarius. So be very careful about that, okay? All right, Gemini, you're being patient. You're like, okay, fine. That's not a problem. I can focus on my work. I can focus on being with myself. I'm okay being with myself and my pet. Some of you are going to adopt a pet or buy a pet or whatever it is you're going to keep. And I'm seeing that you're literally loving the me time right now. You're studying, you're reading, you're going for your higher uh, learning. But whatever it is, there is growth. There's productivity. It's not like you're stuck, you're stagnant. You're not on the same page. You're definitely growing. So I feel like you're going to receive one after the other slowly uh, rewards, recognition and merit for your work. So stay consistent and believe in yourself. That's what you're doing. And you're in no rush to uh, manipulate anyone or to impress anyone. What about this person that is depressed over you? They definitely see you as someone that is definitely wealthy, successful, and an achiever. They see you as an achiever. They see you as someone that is like high profile person or someone that has high standards and highly ambitious. They don't see you as an average person. They see you as an extraordinary person. They want to shower you with gifts. They want to give you everything that you can be happy with. But somewhere they don't see themselves capable of you. Somewhere. Let me see what all is there about. You that they feel. There you go. They just cannot stop thinking about your beauty. Yes, this, this deep love, they're coming towards you. You know this person is not able to live without you. I'm not seeing this person is able to live without you. They're coming towards you with love offer. They just cannot uh, stay away from you. Now, it all depends upon whether you want a relationship or not. I'm not saying that you're going to be in a relationship with this person. But this person is not able to stay away from you. They're coming towards you. I'm also seeing that you do miss them at times. But you're okay wherever you are. But this person is not. They're passionate. They're loving. They have. You can see their eyes. Like they're crying for you desperately. There's so much of nostalgia and past memories that is making them um, uh, helpless. So they're coming and they keep thinking about you. They keep checking on your pictures. I'm also seeing them bringing a huge gift that can make you smile. Something that reminds you of the memory from the past. You guys, I feel like can meet at a workplace as well. They might uh, reach your office and talk to you there or you're working at that time. So you will receive a message or a news at that time. Do be happy that this person reached out. But you're not very excited or anything like that. You're okay. Courthouse. But you're still deciding not to talk to this person. You will talk to this person, but not too quickly. You're not that excited. You're like, okay, if this person is going to uh, stay in control of their... Um, uh, behavior if this person won't change their behavior I'm not going to introduce them in my life again this is what you're thinking so you will make sure that you're not um, opening up your heart before you discuss with this person what is going on I'm also seeing that this person wants to do something different something unique for you to make you smile so that you bring them in yes this person has always loved you but the problem is you guys are two different people like with a background uh, Different, different upbringing you are more mature see yeah i feel like there's something happened like maybe you saw them with someone else and you had that feeling that they are ditching you or they had trust issues in you there were trust issues i feel I don't think you guys have ever sat and talked to each other properly. You guys were never on the same page. Past life relationships. So you guys, maybe from the past life, maybe this is your soulmate. But what I'm seeing, you both do miss each other. 
especially this person misses the time and you guys will have a beautiful romantic uh moment in the near future i'm seeing this happening okay you guys will yeah there you go there's a confirmation from the universe here it is saying yes this is your soulmate okay so yes give them one chance and see how it goes you don't have to always marry your soulmate there are so many soulmates out there you could marry your karmic as well depends upon who is treating you well in this life so with this uh woman holding a heart i feel like they're going to give you their heart they'll be like okay take my heart do whatever you want to but don't leave me alone this is what they're going to say so they're going to make it so emotional for you that you'll feel bad and you'll try to you know uh work things out with them so i'm seeing that you guys are going to get back to each other this could be a taurus this could be a gemini and if you're single completely you've gotten rid of this person this is what is going to happen next leo so these are the signs coming in let me do your all sign messages gemini right on the comment section i believe in myself i'll do what is right for me you can get a garnet stone from me it'll really help you with bringing love in your life new or past or whoever you want to be with and they will be super energized by me the number 44 is extremely important for you okay someone's birthday add on add to four someone's age is that aries is missing you like hell they regret doing you wrong the taurus is not able to get up they keep thinking about you they're feeling weak without you the gemini is ready to take step forward towards you once again a cancer person knows that you're the person they want to be with so they're not leaving you anywhere the leo person feels like left out in the cold like a loser okay and the virgo is ready to come towards you with talks of marriage and kids libra libra sees you as the best because they had you when they had you they never cared but when you're not there they don't like anybody else they want to be with you the scorpio wants to take it uh you know i feel like the scorpio is more casual but when you're not around they go crazy so they want you right now this person's childish sagittarius ending this moving on Capricorn is seeing you as a dream come true, as a wish come true, the only person they can feel happy with. Aquarius is too stressed out, sad, depressed that you're not there. They're not feeling good. No, 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 no. Pisces. Pisces wants to sit and talk with you because they don't know how you feel. They don't know how. I feel like this person is a little too stubborn, too stuck up. Or they just don't want this mess to happen again. So they want to sit down and talk with you and clear things out, which is good. So they also want to make things official with you. Gemini, please. Okay. Someone is fond of music over here. I feel it's your person. Someone is on YouTube or someone is on social media somehow. Okay. Family, this could be a cancer. You also have new person coming in, okay? And self-care. Take good care of yourself and your family. Your family really needs you. There could be an Aquarius coming in. Uh, someone really likes your character. I yeah, feel like your character. And spend time in nature. That will be good for you. And yes, new love, as I was telling you. So you can have new love coming in, but be careful of the new love, as I told you. Someone's name is Iva. Yvonne, Ibadat, Wahid, Wamika, Amin, Aileen, Bailey, Wanda, all of these. So someone could be from Rwanda, someone's from India, West Indies, Asian countries, all the Asian countries. I feel like the person is feeling really bad from being a womanizer or vice versa. Or maybe if it's a female, then they were thinking you were a womanizer. Aloha. I'm hearing something to do with aloha. Maybe that's a pet language in your country. I'm also hearing womb. Someone is pregnant here. So these are the letters in your name or your person's name, I-E-W-A-O. I'm seeing a good news. I'm also seeing wedlock. I'm seeing you will attend a wedding. That's going to be a very exciting one. And 
Vella could be the name. Wellington, someone's from Washington, Wellington, Indiana police, anywhere in America, China, Russia, Italy, Egypt, Auckland, Canada, Australia, Austria, Ottawa, Oman, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Pakistan, these are some countries that I'm getting. Okay, so that's about you, Gemini. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, beautiful reading. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to iNigma. Bye.